Thank you, Mr. President. You know what the American people are thinking right now? They're thinking that the brain is an amazing organ. It starts working in a mother's womb, and it doesn't stop working until you get elected to Congress. You know what the American people are thinking right now, Mr. President? They're thinking that this country was founded by geniuses but it's being run by a bunch of idiots. You know what the American people are thinking right now, Mr. President? They're thinking, why do the members of the United States Senate continue to double down on stupid? Now, this is not a Republican bill, Mr. Chairman. This is a bipartisan bill. We have spent hours and hours and hours negotiating these provisions with our Democratic friends. This is not a slush fund. This is a bill to help people and businesses in America. This bill is going to increase unemployment insurance. This bill is going to send $1,200 to every man and woman in America, taxpayers, who make less than $75,000 a year, and $500 for each of their children. This bill is going to help every small business in this country. It's not a bailout. It provides up to $350 billion for small businesses for the next eight weeks to keep going. And if they don't lay anybody off, the bill, it, the, the loans are forgivable. Now, we have some businesses in this country that are bigger than 500 employees. This bill has a provision to help them too, as well. In the America I was raised in, and growing your business and becoming as large as possible was something we aspired to. This bill does not create a slush fund for the Treasury Secretary. It provides $75 billion to help some of our industry's hardest hit in a collateralized loan, not a bailout, and then provides another $425 billion to the Federal Reserve under Section 13.3 of the Federal Reserve Act, which the Federal Reserve will make available to all businesses, including those that don't qualify as a small business. And we can, and it's not a gift. We can negotiate warrants. We can negotiate stock options. We can take a piece of their, of their, of their uh, company in stock. Mr. President, I, I, I don't understand it. I, just, I, I get politics. I've been around it my whole life. But, but there's a, there comes a time when we have to stop thinking about the next election and start thinking about the next generation. What are we going to leave to our children if we allow this economy to crash? And it is happening as we speak. I mean no ill will toward my Democratic friends. I like and respect every one of them. But let's pass this bill.